welcome to the Narrowboat Experience. I'm Anna Marie. And I'm Kat. And we are cruising the Narrowboat past Crafted Boats where we plan to get the boat blacked. However, you may notice that we are not pulling in. We have spent this whole time with Jono getting ourselves to Crafted Boats. At the bottom of Tardy Big Locks. To get her blacked and then we're going to crew Jono up the locks as you know. However, we have had a blacking fail. Before the blackings even touched the boat, we've had a blacking fail. More of a paperwork fail, you might say. <laughs> yeah. An we... admin error, not in our favour. Go up 36 locks. Do not stop until you get to the top. Here we are, at the bottom of Tidy Big Lock. Going into the Tidy Big Locks, and I have a question for you viewers. Jono said no, but I think yes. If there's 36 locks and I have to do two boats through said 36, do I get 72 points? I think yes. Oh, so I was gonna set the timer. So we have to go to the top of Tardy Big Locks because somebody didn't read the paperwork properly when they were filling it out. Neither of us read the paperwork. I'm not in charge of paperwork. We've, we picked this I'm boat yard because of its location, ironically. We were, we were choosing between this boat yard and another one which was not up the Tardy Big Flight. However, it's turned out to be an awesome opportunity to do the biggest locks in the country biggest flight of locks to do it with Jono who is lovely and also we have a volunteer with us for the first six locks so that's awesome isn't it yeah so it's actually turned out really good and it will be a lovely experience I love people who like being on camera not everybody gets onto a narrow boat and wants to be on YouTube so we don't often film a lot of people because it's, it takes time to ask for permission sometimes, but it's really nice when people wave and say, why aren't I on camera? So here we go. We are on the flight and we have a volunteer, which is fantastic. Just like that, just with one extra crew member, we can jump gates because Kath's waiting at the bottom of the gate with the cow and Jono's in a lock and then I'm going to the next lock, which is not very far. And then just like that, we might actually be a tiny bit faster at the six. I would like to mention that we are not in a rush and we just want to have a really good day but it is nice when you can be super organized. lock with a volunteer. Jono's in a lock by himself but I've set the paddles and I'm going to the next lock. So we'll see how that works. And I will leave that one for Jono to do again. 
and come and do the next one. So here I am at lot 27, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm just gonna check the time. We've done about three locks. Oh, okay, three locks and we set the timer 33 minutes ago. So actually, with a little bit of help from a volunteer and some awesome crew, we are making very reasonable time. So 33, that's 10, 11 minutes per lock. We're not gonna be able to keep that pace. Yeah, we're nearly there. We've only got 30 more to do. <laughs> Kath's all right, she's still got a volunteer. Yeah. Actually really windy today. As you know, we don't like to travel in the wind and it's going to get up to 18 at midday, it's midday now but I thought maybe lock to lock the wind wouldn't be so impactful because you're not really going past other boats it's just the angle to get into the lock so we'll see how that goes by the end of the day we're still making excellent time and I mean come on how pretty is that? So you can't really complain, you can't go, oh it's a gorgeous day and the sun's out and the boats are gorgeous and the people and the company's lovely, but I've got 36 locks to do so I'm sad. So kind of just got to get over it <laughs> and think, I made a mistake with the paperwork, let's never talk of it again. Tia said it's another four hours up the other 30 locks. Yeah. <laughs> and, at the, and now I'm the only crew, I was saying to Jono, I need to stop for lunch. Oh, and you may have noticed I'm not in the first bit of the video because I was abandoned by my wife and left with a strange man. Who you was left a lovely, with a lovely volunteer. Both we both left with strange men. <laughs> We've just done the six locks. Well, we have only done six locks. And I, I did nothing for four of them. <laughs> well, I at least but made Jono get out and close some gates. The one thing is that there was no bollards to moor up before the lock, so I couldn't get off the boat because there yeah. was nothing to tie to. So yeah. I wonder how single-handed people do this flight. Maybe there's often a volunteer, I forgot to ask. I asked and he said there's more volunteers on during the week than the weekend. Okay. And to quote, 
to get away from their wives and husbands. <laughs> Hi, folks. Your camera. So we didn't quite take the lock from those two guys, but um, they did pull over to have some lunch. So we have snuck in. Um, they do watch the vlog, so a big shout out and hello. I wish we had had more time to stop for a cup of tea. I am enjoying a little bit of a rest, let me tell you. Kath has not been off the boat today yet, so this is her first time off the boat. And she's had to make lunch, so she must be really pooped. It looks like Jono's doing the lock behind me, I'm doing the middle lock and then Kath has just got off to do the one in front of me and in this way I think we might keep leapfrogging. I was really lucky getting off the boat in this lock because there was a little stepway so um, I had the boat in neutral but it still had some forward propulsion so I stepped off at the stairway and I've come up the top and then I've been able to do the lock by myself without using the lock ladder which is my nemesis. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I was so busy filming and watching Kath at the last lock that I forgot to get off. Oh, I didn't make it off uh, in time to get off at these steps. So now I have to skirt across the top of the boat and get off at the ladder. And that's how it's done. Except probably a little bit more gracefully. <laughs> This should say something different. Like what? He's a menace. Journey with Jono is a menace. A lock menace. At least she's allowed to call him Jono. I have to call him Mr. Journey. It's a tighten up the brakes. We have decided to break out the bike because 
you ha the person doing the walking has to walk back two sets of locks. Jono reckons we shouldn't break out the bike, but I want it noted that he has not yet to walk one whole pound. He is getting on, on and off of his boat. So am I. A lot as well. Yeah, it's all pretty evens. And we enjoy cycling and I enjoy cycling more than I enjoy riding Jono, um, driving Jono's boat. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, in fact, right. either of those things. So much fun on the downhill. Hello, Marie foolishly left me with the camera so there's been no filming done for ages I think we've gone through about 10 of the locks so far for the first five I was the person on the ground going between then we got the bike out and Anna Marie's been running back and forth on the bike and we think that now there's another set of boaters following behind us because somebody's been helping Jono extra to Anna Marie We've met loads of lovely people, passers by, having a good old gone goozle, watching us go, giving us a hand with the odd gate, which is really nice. And we're having a good time. It's exhausting. The weather's hit and miss. I've, it's been raining, it's been sunny. And we've still got 20 more locks to do. Yay! driving Jono's boat. I am driving my boat. Jono is setting the lock up ahead. Kath has Molly. <laughs> and it's just lovely. A lovely day. The cats have said that 36 locks in one day is too many. There's really no lock landings to speak of on the Taddy Big locks. So be aware of that single handers. Kind of have to back back into the lock to shut your gate. I took a Jenny with Jono and all I got was attitude. <laughs> One of the people that we're travelling with doesn't enjoy being helped through locks because every time I'm balancing across two gates he thinks it's hilarious to beep the horn to scare me so I let go and fall in. And which, Papa, which hasn't happened yet. Twice he's tried. Yeah but you haven't fallen in. No because I hold on tight. <laughs> yeah. And the second time was less shocking than the first time. Guess how many hours it's been. We are at lock 46 out Three of hours? 58. More. Three and a half hours? More. Four hours. Yeah. Well, we only got two hours left then. It'll be dark by the time we moor up. I hope <laughs> the pub's still serving.
keeps changing so that it's getting higher and higher, which very seldomly happens on a canal because the canals are usually quite flat, obviously. So it's quite a lovely view, it's quite a different view. I'm really enjoying it actually. You've kind of just got to get it, you've kind of just got to get into a zone. <laughs> It helps when you have good company. To be fair, I can't see where else I would tie the rope off to if not the paddle. Crazy. Just exiting lock 51 out and it goes up to 58. I'm gonna lobby for us to stop in the long pound between between 57 and 58. I'm wrecked and we can do the one more lock tomorrow. And I'm really just emptying this lock behind me so that Jono can come in. And I'm waiting for her to open the gate ahead. So she's gonna open those paddles, hop on the bike, zoom past and open the gate. And then I'm gonna crawl in slowly. I've decided that the bike is the best job because you only really do the lowering of the paddles and the gate paddles and the gate paddles are easier than the ground paddles so I'm quite tired <laughs> I don't know if you noticed and I don't know if you can tell but it's getting quite dark and I've now just driven into a hedge So we've got six more to do, I'm sure we can pull together and get the energy levels back up and get finished, more up, have some dinner and then go to sleep immediately.
30 at night. We have not stopped. We have the best helping people behind us. We have no one in front of us, but we're pretty wrecked and it's pretty dark. And now it has started raining. I need to do this flight again, going down, but I don't want to do it without a crew. <laughs> a crew of one. Yes. Um, I think we should. A good fly, fly right back to where I belong, fly right back to my home sweet home. If I could, I'd take it all back, take it all back and fly high up above the open sea into another destiny. I'd close my eyes. And I'm back in your room.